Hello, welcome to Math Hands On with Python and uh, today we are going to learn on how we can perform project crash with Python and I'm going to use the activity on Arc network diagram uh, to demonstrate how we are going to perform this uh, project crash in Python. So to start with, uh, let's see the general project crashing LP model. So the general project crash LP model consists of uh, four main parts. The first part is the objective function the second part is the uh, cost reduction and the third part is the constraint and the last part is the total time constraint. So the variables for the objective function and the uh, other constraints basically are described into the right hand box there. So you can go through that and uh, you can uh, get the meaning of each variable used into uh, the LP model for the project crashing. So next thing, uh, let's now focus on the problem which we are going to use this one to demonstrate on how we can perform this uh, project crashing on Python. So the problem here we have this uh, is state that uh, let's crash the following network schedule from it's a normal time to an optimum time of six days and determine the least crash cost and the total project cost. So the information we are given is the table which have the uh, duration and cost. Uh, we have the normal duration and the crash duration, normal cost and the, uh, the crash cost. Also under this table we have the network diagram representing the problem that we are going to see. So we are going to summarize this information into a table like you see on your right hand screen. We have activity A, B, C, D up to G and we have the arcs uh, for each activity uh, as shown into the network diagram. And also we have the normal duration as ND, we have the crash duration as CD, we have the crash cost as CC and we have the normal cost as NC. So we are going to take this uh, table that which we summarize the information from the uh, problem that we have into an Excel sheet and we save the Excel into a CSV format. So this is the uh, Excel that we have. So we are going to load this data into my Python files. Basically, I prepared two Python files and uh, let's go to Python. So I have the task data file and the uh, model file. So in this uh, task data files, basically I loaded my data from the Excel sheet in CSV format. I did this because I'm avoiding to perform the manual works like uh, computation of the cost slope manually and the uh, maximum crash duration for each activity and also the total uh, normal cost. So from this file basically we can find this uh, the computation of cost slope, the computation of the maximum crash duration for each activity and the total normal cost uh, from the data frame. So uh, we have the second file which is the model file and this model file basically uh, it comprises the whole model now of our uh, project crashing uh, LOP. Then uh, to start with I imported the task data into my model file. You can see here I imported everything from the task data into this file and uh, also I'm importing the important library which is used for uh, solving a different kind of LP model which is the Palpy model function. Also we have the NumPy uh, because uh, I have some uh, ranges created uh, in this data set. So after importing the library you have to declare the number of arcs okay, in your network diagram because uh, we are dealing with the network diagram with an activity on arcs. So then we produce the uh, index for the x variable and the, uh, also the index for the r. Uh, the x and r uh, uh, you can go back to the previous slides where I demonstrated the uh, general uh, LOP model. I described the meaning of X and the R. So after having uh, creating the index for the X and R, then we have to develop our model. And the, our model basically uh, is concerned with the minimization of uh, the crash cost. So uh, this is the model now. And the, this model is like a container. Every Thing we are going to add to this container. So the model here is described by this LOP problem uh, function uh, with the name of reducing time of the project 
and uh, we minimize the crash cost. So we have the decision variables x and r. Also after that we have to uh, create now our objective function and our objective function basically is the sum between the product of the amount of time by which an activity is crashed times its respective uh, cost slope. After having this objective function then we have this time reduction constraint and the, this time cost, uh, reduction constraint as you can see from the general uh, definition of this constraint basically we have this RLS or equal to uh, maximum crash duration for each activity so and each uh, reduced time from each activity should be updated into our model so the crashed duration uh, for each activities should not be uh, greater than the maximum number of days allowed to uh, crash for that activities and uh, this constraint is updated into our model container so we do that for all activities and then after that we go to the uh, activity constraints uh, this follows the general format for activity constraints and uh, you do that but it should be greater or equal to uh, normal duration of each respective activity the last thing is the total time of the project so the total time of the projects is the difference between the last node and the first node and uh, this difference should be less or equal to number of days that uh, we are told to crash the project so after that we are in a good position now to solve our uh, model and uh, this is the solver we use the glpk solver to solve this uh, model so we solve the model and then after solving we have some uh, codes for printing out of the results of uh, uh, the outputs and this i have explained them into the previous video on how you can solve the lp uh, model with python and then we have the output of the objective function and total project duration which is the sum of the minimum crash cost plus the total normal duration so this is uh, all which you need in crashing your projects uh, depending on the problem that you have so then you run this one you can see we have the output uh, we have the reduced time for those activities which have been shown the possibility of being crashing without affecting the uh, critical path so these activities in uh, this R variable also they form uh, the critical path so uh, arranging these activities here from node 1 to 3, 1 to 5 uh, this one when you, uh, you write them in a, a proper way like uh, I have displayed on your right hand screen there you can see that we have developed some uh, critical paths according to these activities then we have the uh, maximum allowed crashing duration which is six days and we have the uh, minimum crash cost and we have the total project cost so this is all what you can do in performing crashing of the projects with python thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe like comment and share this video until next time goodbye